gut, jetzt nehmen wir mal den zweiten Teil auf. Also wirklich den, sagen wir sozusagen das Intro und das Tutorial hinter uns. Jetzt geht das Spiel richtig los. Faster. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirn are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods. Now this... Here. Back to the trail? Like I said... Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazes me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. That's it, Roach. So... Griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Me 
Slower. Take it easy. coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Pretty busy place you got. Nation's on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Thanks. For everything. that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Oh. 
Once more, there are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to road, Dean, at your service. Vagrant, that a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I oh, know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. <laughs> Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Dervan now. D E R V A N. Not going to mind. He's raining and pouring and roaming. He's up the time when he went to bed and wet himself the morning.
Who told you that? Uh, Jetty. Now listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. <laughs> what the fuck am I to do? Ed? What? Jetty's my best mate. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Boot prints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss. And vodka. We'll eat myrtle grass during the hungry gap. They've taken all our grain. boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. lead back to the village. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock.
take care. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Started poking him, asking. When he started twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, so it were. Except it was some drowner that had supped on the kid. Witcher had naught to do with it. What did the folk do? Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy. But I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. <laughs> I gotta... Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Looking for trouble. What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap? You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree.
Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Making me a slingshot. Gonna hunt bears. <laughs> 